into a bowling wreck. In this alley, the pins strike back. This is Prank Patrol, where we help people like you pull off the prank of their lives. Definitely. Hannah Clifford, that's Hannah Clifford, prepare to be apprehended by the Prank Patrol. <laughs> Hannah Clifford? Yeah. Did you apply for Prank Patrol's help? Yeah. You did, then congratulations to the newest member of the team. Look, there's your name right there. Look at that. That's yours. You're going to need that, and you're also going to need this. Right on first. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mum. Hello. Hi, brother. Hi, yeah, right. I'm going to need to borrow Hannah for a short while. Is that OK? No problem. Serious pranking to do, Hannah. Follow me. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Meet our newest prankster, Hannah Clifford, age nine, from Stockport. Hannah has a very active extracurricular timetable. On Sunday, she goes to drama club. Oh, Romeo. On Tuesday, she does tennis and brownies. On Wednesday, she has a rest. On Thursday, she goes swimming. On Friday, she goes to tennis. And on Saturday, she's got a day off. Phew, she needs it. Now, this is the prank van where we talk business, Hannah, OK? So let's talk about you first. I, I go to a drama group on Sunday and it's really fun. And I've got this really annoying friend called Georgia. Ah, yes, Georgia. Now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, aren't we? I've heard all about Georgia. Well, tell everybody at home uh, a bit more about her, please. Well, she sometimes does really weird things, like going around going, Hi, who are you? Do I know you? Who am I? Where am I? Is this your house? Even if we're at school and it's really strange, she sometimes goes around and she says something that she knows will annoy you and then afterwards she goes, joke! Oh, that's just annoying, isn't it? And this is why you want to prank her back? Yeah. OK, then well, before we think of some lovely pranking ideas, let's take a look at Georgia in action. Hannah and Georgia have been best friends for five years. Georgia's good fun, she's cheeky and a bit of a prankster. In fact, one of Georgia's pranking habits is that she often pretends to cry and then jumps up and shouts, I got you! <laughs> Hannah reckons Georgia is a wee bit cuckoo, especially when she talks in her sleep, which actually works out quite well because Hannah listens in hers. OK, so we have our target now, Georgia. And what we've got to do is think up of some cunning prank. Now, we need to get some ideas. So, what sort of stuff do you like doing together? We yeah. like bowling. We could do something crazy with bowling. I like your style. Okay, we could maybe show Georgia up. Maybe you've got all yeah. the skill and she hasn't. Okay, well we can arrange that maybe by um, uh, adjusting the machinery. Another thing that, that brings the ball back yeah. out again. Maybe that could go wrong. Or we could um, do something with the bowling pins. Like when the ball hits them, they explode. Oh, what a lovely idea. Yes, it's just like powder everywhere. Which yeah. Is, does she get strikes quite a lot? Yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be great if she went to throw the ball, it got a strike and they all exploded? <laughs> yeah. What a great idea. Well, the only person who can sort that out for us, I think, is Steve. He's our props designer back at Prank HQ. Do you want to put a phone call into him, see if he's up for it? Yeah. Ninjas! Thank you. There you go. Hello? Hi, is that Steve at Prank HQ? Yes, it is. Hi. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm Prank Patrol's newest member. We need some bowling pins that explode. Do you think you could do that? Yeah, no worries. I'm on it straight away. Thanks. That's great. Bye. See you. Bye. Thank you very much. So, while Steve's on the case, let's get Georgia to a bowling alley where the ball literally strikes back. You ready yeah. for this bowling bedlam? Sure am. High five. Ninjas, take us to Prank HQ. So, here we are, Hannah. Prank HQ, what do you think? It's real cool. Now, listen, we've got a lot of stuff to do for this prank. Should we go and meet Steve? Yeah. Follow me. 
Hey Steve, how you doing? Hi, yeah. You know, right, you can now put a face to the voice. This is Hannah, who you spoke to earlier on. Hello, Hannah. How are you doing? I'm okay, thanks. How are you getting on with the pins? Hey, we're getting on pretty good. After your phone call, we thought we'd better make a start. Okay. Um, the one thing we do with is uh, some help from you guys. Oh, we can help. Yeah. Does it involve getting messy? It does. Get those on. Good. I'll tell you what, while we get these on, why don't you watch a really tasty recipe? Recipe for a prank. Bouncing bowling ball. So, are you going bowling and feel like having a little extra fun? Well, here is a recipe that might be right up your alley. Just find a toy rubber ball, roughly the size of an actual 10-pin bowling ball, and paint it black. Pat it down with some chalk dust so it has a classic, well-worn bowling ball finish. Then, hide it in a backpack. When you are at the alley and your friends are distracted by putting on their bowling shoes, secretly take out your crank ball. Use a bit of acting to make it seem like you're carrying a really heavy 10-pin bowling ball. Then, when you feel the time is right, choose a victim and say those two magic words. Think fast. Guaranteed great fun for everyone. What a really tasty recipe, and we're cooking something up very nice here in the props department. That's Steve, that's Hannah. Hello. Right then, what are we doing? Um, we're getting out our uh, pin that we poured. Taken out very carefully because they are fragile. <laughs> These okay. are the ones that are going to break, aren't These they? These are the ones that are going to break, so... Okay, looks like we've got looks like we got a good one. Oh, wow, brilliant. Okay. Well, you can see right there down... Can I hold that? Okay. Yeah, of course you can. You can see right down the middle, that's actually hollow. And that's where they're going to break when the ball hits it, when Georgia bowls her strike. We need to make more. Six. Okay, then let's get to it. What we need to do is fill that with plaster. Go. And just keep moving it around so you're sure that you get all the plaster in, in, in all the areas of the inside of the mould, OK? We'll just let it stand for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Do you know why bowlers don't work much? No, I don't. Because they're always on strike. <laughs> they're always on strike. Okay. Is that the one Hannah made? That's one Hannah made. Very nice. Well done. Using the original pins as a guide, Steve made a stencil so that we could spray paint our new fake pins to make them look authentic. So if we leave you to it, Steve, you can finish the rest of them off for you us? You can, I'm on it. Lovely stuff. Hey, do you know there's one more thing you can use pins for? I haven't told you about yet. Do you know you can juggle with them? Have I not shown you? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I can juggle with these. Watch this. You'll like this. Ready? Whoa! <laughs> oh! Ninjas! <laughs> Earlier on, you said you weren't very good at bowling. Yeah. Well, I've got a bit of a surprise for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Say hello to Chris Lamb. Hi. Hello, Chris. Now, Chris is the national under 12s champion, and he's here to give you some tips. Now, we've got our fold away portable bowling alley, Chris. So you're the tutor, you're the student. So where do we start? Over there. Okay. Start by putting your fingers and your thumbs in the ball. First, you get these two fingers and put it in, and then put your thumb in. Does that feel comfortable? Okay, then, next bit. Here you stand. You stand two feet, two feet together and hold the ball. And that's before you do the run-up thing, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, and how do you make the ball go straight? Uh, you follow through it. When you bowl, you follow through onto past your ear. Let's practice that, Hannah. The arm coming through. Follow through. So three things to remember there. You've got the, the grip on the ball, the stance, yeah. but the third one is the, the follow-through bit. Do you want to put it into practice? Yeah. Alright, then it's all yours. Oh, look at it go! Oh, great. Got the stance and the follow through. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, I feel loads better about that. How about you, Hannah? Good. 
Good. Chris, thank you very much, mate. It was brilliant. Hannah, do you want to say thanks? Thanks. And we should go and see how Steve's doing with those pins. Follow me. OK, this is it, Hannah. It's time to test the pins and see if they explode. Steve, are you confident about this? Well, we'll find out. I hope so. It's a big part of the prank. OK, then, so how do we test them to see if they work? Well, it's either whether this is the real one... <laughs> no, it's not. No, that's, that's not the real one. Um, <laughs> that's the real one. Good. Effective. Um, Hannah, why don't you see if you want to um, do the, um, the thing and break them? And um, you do that and I'll, um, I'll go and lie down. Oh, good. Good. So you had, um, you had a good time with the, with the ball then. Imagine what the bowling ball will do if that one does all that damage. So, everything's going well. Yes? yes? Good. In that case, it's time to check out the blueprint. The blueprint. The blueprint. Blueprint. Yes. Yes. One of those, please. The blueprint for Hannah's prank is one bowling alley and a bowling crazy friend. <laughs> one clown of a clumsy maintenance man. <laughs> and one smoke filled bowling lane with pins that explode. I think George is going to be a bit shocked, but then I think she's going to think it all a big joke at the end. I can't wait to get to the location now. Come on, we've got the skill. Hannah's got the skill. She's a top prankster. Chris has taught us all the moves. Let's do it. Are we going? Are we going now? OK, so the van's loaded. We've got everything that we need for the prank. All we need to do is give Georgia a call and make sure that she can come. Now, what have you told her so far? What's she expecting? I've asked her to go bowling with me after school. OK, and all you're going to do now is give her a call and make sure that she can still come. Yeah. And that's when we're going to prank her. OK, then. Make that call. Hello? Hello, it's Hannah. Oh, hi, Hannah. We're definitely going bowling. Oh, great. So, are you going to go to Barney's? No. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. I thought she said you're going to Barney's then. I thought for a second, what do you mean she's going to Barney's? I thought she might have known, but she said brownies. Yeah. That's a good thing. Are you happy? Yeah. George is coming, the prank can go ahead? Yeah. Nice one. In that case, let's get to the location. Ninjas! Take us to Stockport Bowling Alley, please. So here we are, Hannah, your very own bowling alley, and this is where the prank's going to go down. You like it? It's wicked. Now, there's two things you're going to need. That, of course. And I thought it might be quite nice to get some words of support. So if you take a look on here, there are a few people who want to say good luck to you. Hannah loves being with her friends. She's a very kind and loyal friend. She also loves a bit of mischief, and I think she's going to have a fantastic time on this bowling prank. This prank's going to be really great. George is going to be really up for it. And I'm sure when they go bowling, it'll really bowl Georgia over. Well, it makes me feel better. How about you? Yeah. Lovely. Right, then I reckon we should do something now, Hannah. I reckon if we bowl this ball and get a strike, that means the prank is going to go perfectly. Should we try it? Yeah. OK. Thumb, position and follow through. <laughs> Anything could happen now, couldn't it? What did I say that for? Quick. Will Hannah strike pranking gold, or will Georgia pin it down to being a prank? Will it be pranking boom or bust for Hannah when the pins turn to dust? You're about to find out. So we're all set for our strike of a prank. Nearly worked. Strike of a prank on Hannah's best friend. Say hello, Hannah. Hi. Now, Hannah's best friend is Georgia. She's going to be bowling a ball down this lane, and it's going to explode the pins at the end, which Steve is setting in place over there. All right, Steve? Hiya. Hello, mate. Looking good. Now, when that happens, we're going to call in our bowling technician, and that is our top prank patrol actor, Rob Hallam. All right, Rob? Oh, very good. Good to very see you, good. mate. This is Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Now, today you are Morris Pitcher, and if you look in the name tag there, you can see a little hidden camera as well. So, you can stand up if you want to. Thank buddy. you. <laughs> Rob, tell us what you're going to be doing when we call you in. All sorts of crazy things are going to be happening. We're going to be throwing fruit down here. Uh, there's going to be smoke bellowing out of the machine. Lovely. And then, of course, right at the end, the pins are going to explode. Sounds brilliant. George is going to be shocked. Yeah, yes. that's what we like, isn't it? And, of course, you can call in your supervisor, and that will be me dressed up, and then I can reveal it's all been a great big prank. Superb. Lovely. Rob, cheers for that. Get into position. See you later, guys. And there's still a bit more to get set for the prank. So, ninjas, come on, get to it. Now, the 
Producers have worked really hard to rig this place and we're all set for the prank hand. Let me point out the hidden cameras to you. There's one down there. Hello. One just there. One over there. One right in the back of the room behind that window that's been blacked out. And this one is a very special hidden camera because it's in a sports bag. Give us a wave. Hello. So of course George is going to be filmed and not even know that's there. Now there's a few people that want to say a few things to you. So I'll just get this out here. Because it's nice to have a bit of a look before you start the prank. So watch this. Hi Hannah, it's your dad here. I know you've worked really hard on this prank, so go and drive Georgia spare. Ah, oh, very nice. Everyone's behind you. Now, I've just heard that Georgia is 12 miles away. and She's setting off now. Now, if she travels at 30 miles an hour at a distance of 12 miles, that will be... <laughs> oh, ninjas. will be quite shocked, but I want her to be shocked. I'm really, really nervous about it, but I'm really looking forward to it, so fingers crossed. So, to recap, the blueprint for Hannah's prank is... One bowling alley and a bowling crazy friend. <coughs> one clown of a clumsy maintenance man. <coughs> and one smoke-filled bowling lane with pins that explode. So here we go, let's get the prank up and running. That's our target, Georgia, on the left. Thanks, Mr. Poster. Hello. Hello. Can I help you? Um, yeah. Oh, you want to go bowling? Yeah. Have you got a reservation? Um, we've already paid. Right, what's your name? Hannah Griffiths. And? Georgia Cowell. Uh, yeah, we've got you, Hannah and Georgia. So we've got you on lane two. Right, I need your shoes. So it's off with the shoes. Oh! What, have you smelled those? Ew! Oh! Jeez! Okay, cokey! Set those on, set those on. Have a nice time. Say again? What's wrong with that? Oh, right. Have you not got one foot bigger than the other? No. Okay. There you go. Brilliant. Enjoy your bowling. What's up? Hey, clown shoes. Seven years I've worked here. I've done that every day. Never fails to get a laugh. Do you like that joke? Okay. Pull those on, but don't go away because I've got some jackets as well. Stick your shoes on first. Now, these have got little transponders in because it's all automatic bowling now. If you put those on, zip them up, get nice and warm. I'll take you to your lanes. Meanwhile, I'm behind the scenes having the finishing touches applied to make me look like a really grumpy bowling alley owner. Hmm, very nice. Now, it's all automatic. Just pop your coat on there off. So you see your names uh, are already there. Now, do you, know how to, do you know how to do bowling? Yeah. You might not know how to do it properly. I was uh, bowling champion of Stockport, seven years running between the years of six and whatever seven is on there. So uh, just come forward. I just want to make sure you've got the right technique. We're on lane two. It is. We're on lane two. It's all set up, but I just want you to watch, first of all. How many times have you bowled before? Um, about, I don't know, about ten. I think you're pretty good? No, not really. <laughs> Check this out. You're really good. Stand back. You are, Georgia. It's all in the swing, it's all in the aim. Okay. Okay, so it's time for Rob to show the girls how Go it's on. done. That was <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh my goodness! <laughs> so you're the bowling champion, were you? Yeah? No, it's... It, <laughs> I'm alright. <clears throat> Floor's a bit slippy, but you get the idea. Yeah. So, uh, you have a ball, girls. You carry on, and uh, I'm just going to fix this lane. Then. Go on, George. Oh, is it yours? Your turn. Right. Let's see how the girls get on. Hannah's up first. <laughs> oh, Rob. Sorry about that. 
Oh my goodness, come here, Georgie. Go over here, Georgie. Go on, Georgia. Go on. <laughs> Shut up. Excuse me, you're just like putting us off. I'm not putting you off. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Go on, Hannah. I'm just saying, you're not as good as, as I am, so. Really? Oh, we're not. Go, Hannah. <laughs> oh, gosh, a long day, this. Long day. Oh, dear. Georgia's not impressed. So, did I put you in? Oh, very good. You put me off. Hiya, boss. Hiya, no, it's fine. Yeah, no, I'm on the... So, hang on a minute, did I put you off? Sorry, but no, some uh, customer's getting shirty. Sorry. No, I'm just working on the lane now, yeah. No worries. No, it's all it's fine. It's really Cheers. strange, don't Sorry, you? I didn't mean to put you off. Customers. Like, oh my god, he is. Come here, come here. Go, Georgia! Go, Georgia! Yes! Good shot! Now! Stu Rake! Come here, I need some support in here. I can't hear you over there. The girls seem to be really getting into the swing of things here. You called him a professional. So it's time to send actor Rob back in, I think, with a comedy watermelon. I know. Um, are you two having a laugh? Mm, yeah. What do you mean? What are you doing putting that in there? We're not. What does it look like to you, that? A bowling ball? Um, no. <laughs> did, you, did you put that in there? No. 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 You put your fingers in now. I'm not doing that. Do you reckon that'll work as a bowling ball? Mm. Yeah, yeah, go on, you do it. Go on, you do it. We dare you. Yeah, dare not you. doing it. You're, You're not are. doing it. We're not do you doing it. Go? No, no, you. Do you not? You. I'm going to try it down lane. You. You. Shh, she'll get fired. Who cares? Just do it. Who cares? Who cares? You haven't got a wife and kids to feed. Fair enough. Do you want me to have a go? Yes. If anyone in... Go on. You sure? Yes. yes. Oh, dear. Don't be a wimp. I'm not being a wimp. Don't get me into trouble. <laughs> yes! Oh my! Smoke. Excuse me! Yeah. Excuse me! Excuse what? me! It's what me! You done? It's exploding! You did it! You blew it up! You silly what? thing! What? What have you two done? You, you did, did it! Oh, what have you done? We're in this row. We're in this row. We're in this row. Oh, oh no. I, I a boss. No, it was the girls. Hey! Yeah, no. Excuse me. Yeah, the Excuse me, Mr. Boss. The one in the red top, yeah. Ringleader. <laughs> but, no, we've got to shut okay, it down. It wasn't us. Which way are we going to go on then? Which lane? Hang on, let me finish this. We're going to have to move to lane one. Yeah. The boss wants you to go first because he's watching to see if you're the ringleader. Go Georgia! Go Georgia! Go Georgia! Uh, you'll get, you'll get, you'll get yeah, me fired. Lane one, Georgia, the other two one. are... Yeah, go shut on, the other two one. down. You get me fired. Go on Georgia, get some in lane one. Go on, you can do it. Go Georgia! Go Georgia! Yeah, go on! Wow, let's see that again. OK, well, Georgia plays what we think is going to be a strike here. It's right in the pocket. But oh no, she leaves the seven and the four pin standing. <laughs> What's she done? Come here, Georgia. Come here. We didn't do anything. What's she... Oh, she broke. Uh, did you throw that? They just broke. <laughs> oh, my... Boss, we're, we're boss. Lane one, boss. <laughs> boss, we need you in lane one. Oh, he's... Oh, no. OK, well, I think it's time for Boss Barney to see what all the fuss is about. Oh, Andy, how big are your muscles? Very. <laughs> what did you throw down there? I just threw a ball. <laughs> boss, it, it, it were these two. It was um, Boss, they've been... They've... Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, it wasn't us, it was him. Yeah, oh, it was right. him. Boss... 
Can you trouble maker. Well, they're two thousand pounds, at least. It wasn't me. And it the was melon. Him. That was her. It was him. It was him. It was how, him. Did, how did you manage to smash the skittles on I there? Didn't Oh, this is just ridiculous. I've got, oh, I've got better I'm, things to be doing here. I'm There's not getting again. into trouble, am I? Don't blame well, us! Who put fruit on the side of the lane? He did! He did! No, it's this one. No, I think it's... Hang on a second. One second, excuse me. Well, see, I can't get into trouble like, for this. It was, it was the one in red through the fruit. I well, told you're, them not you're to. You're responsible for doing it, you see. You can't do that with melons down the side of the aisle like that. Well, it, it was this one. It wasn't. Who was it? Who was it? Was it? Was it? Am, I, am I in trouble over this? Was it you that threw it? It was him. He should be fired. No, what? What? He totally so, wasted our time. You, no, you, you're not firing me. What? You you smashed me skittles. They took me ages to put up there. Excuse I've got me? a whole line of skittles. You put them up and broken them all. You're firing me. Again. I'm sorry, I'll have to let you go. Man. You can't fight him. I'll have to let you go. I don't I'm believe it. Sorry. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Um, th 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 this is what? just not good. We've got a match here. Georgia. Yes. You've just been pranked by the prank patrol. Say hello to the camera. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Did we get you? Just yeah. Get you <laughs> <message>, Georgia. <laughs> Did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fired then. You're not fired. This is an actor, by the way, called Rob. Rob, well done, mate. Yes. Brilliant. Well done, you troublemaker. You annoyed troublemaker. me. Troublemaker. I'm so sorry. Well done, Well done. What a great sport. Look into the camera and say, I was well and truly pranked by the prank patrol. I was not really prank. Prank. Don't <laughs> even say it. <laughs> My favourite bit of the prank was when he threw the watermelon. It was really funny and it just breaks in two in the middle. George was just like... Was I bowled over by the prank? Well, it's, uh, it's fair to say that it was very um, very tense pin bowling, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, my favourite part of the whole prank was the melon. I don't know why, I just like a lot of mess. The exploding pins are really good. George just thought it was really scary, then she's just like running back going, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, it wasn't me. Was it me? Exploding pins were absolutely fantastic. I mean, they did exactly that. There's dust and bits of them everywhere and all the smoke. It was really, really quite shocking, and I think the girls were suitably upset at what they'd done. I thought I was going to get in really big trouble, so me and Hannah back to Mike, uh oh, it was me, it was, was it me, was it me, oh yes, it was me. George and Mike get me back, but I don't. No, so I better watch out. I might get Hannah back again. I reckon I have to. You know Barney? Yeah. That's him. Hi. <laughs> Next time on Prank Patrol, our prankster Lewis Slater sets out to prank his twin brother Robert with some good clean fun and a car wash. Will Robert believe all the car carnage or will the prank be a washout? <laughs>